tomorrow, so we'll see uh, how that works out. They normally, they normally don't get along too, too well. I guess. 
is the intentions that you set for the day and says today I learned I expect I need I deserve I showed myself love and compassion today by today's acts of courage let's go one two three and I feel like with those prompts I find myself uh, listing more small victories <laughs> and acknowledging um, every every small way that I showed courage throughout the day or affirmed my worth to care of myself uh, to care of others you know and I think it's just it helps me feel more aligned and at peace with myself in the morning as well as at night so it's a beautiful way to just frame your whole day some reminders and affirmations it gives you prompts for art as well draw self-love is teaching me and then you just draw whatever comes to mind so I really really like this making it 
snuffer just helps more intentionally turn off your candles, your flames, but it also I think helps uh, preserve the candle a little better than if you, you know, picked up the candle or blew on it and stuff. So I also just thought only ever. 
ever been wearing sweatpants and baggy shirts and sweaters for honestly almost a whole year. That's that's all I've been wearing. So I got these really nice oversized and comfy sweatpants and sweatshirt with kind of like a mauve and tan blue dye to it and I got this from Orenda Tribe Orenda Tribe is own brand which sells a lot of items like these and um, a lot of upcycled, recycled, handmade, hand dyed items, garments, as well as jewelry. Um, they have rugs um, and, and more items, prints, photographs. is lined with a really soft and cotton fabric and I think it's just really Beautiful. They have a uh, whole collection that is kind of like an auction. It's called the Spread Love and Shine Light Collection, which I have purchased from as well. My second favorite sweater is from that collection. Uh, and I wear that sweater with a really oversized t-shirt as well, and I love that combination. It's so cozy. I've been trying to add a little bit more life to my closet, which is mostly filled with black and white um, items and t-shirts and stuff like that, so I really do love this a lot for myself. And the founder of Orenda Tribe, which is Amy, she's super sweet and very active on their Instagram, and I think it's actually uh, their daughter who models a lot of the clothing as well. So, pretty quickly, I have also been kind of avidly collecting and trying to take care of some more plants. I feel like they just add so much beauty to my home space, my bedroom, my kitchen, every room I'm trying to have a lot of plants in. And this one I picked up a little bit ago from Lowe's, I think. And it is a fluffy fern. I 
was saving to share with you but I purchased some um, I guess vintage and just thrifted items um, that I thought were so so beautiful So we could see what it looked like. And I think it looks absolutely magical.
phases of the moon which is so beautiful the wings are so sign means and 
such and such like that about the houses as well and it gives you all that foundational knowledge that I was really in need of um, I still get very much confused by astrology and I, I I can barely read my own chart and make sense of it but it is a practice and this is a book that I keep going back for that foundational knowledge. It's called You Were Born for This Astrology for Radical Self Acceptance. And it's written by Jenny Nicholas, who is an astrologer, I think, based out of LA. This is them. I follow them on Instagram as well. And I earmarked all of this book almost um, for chapters and sections that tell me a bit more about myself and I've been finding a lot of um, comfort in astrology in kind of See you soon.